Are you wondering how to choose a grammar curriculum for your elementary student? I have three tips for you to make the decision easier. I'm Dr. Melanie Wilson, author of Grammar Galaxy. When I started homeschooling, I had no idea what grammar my children needed to learn. I assumed they needed to know parts of speech, punctuation, and how to use these correctly in their writing. I've always loved grammar, so I assumed my children would too. I was wrong. They hated it and begged me not to teach it to them. One of my sons offered me money not to teach it. I'm a psychologist by training, so I started investigating this aversion to grammar and I made some very interesting discoveries. My first discovery was that parts of speech were too difficult for young children to understand because they are abstract concepts. Just as we don't expect our kids to grasp algebra until the teen years, we shouldn't expect our kids to be able to fully implement parts of speech in their writing until they mature. Next, I discovered that it is possible to have children memorize grammar rules. Unfortunately, the drill that is required is likely to kill my kids' enthusiasm for grammar. So yes, I can get my child to memorize the definition of an adverb, for example, by using flashcards and songs and lots of worksheets, but I'm likely to make grammar my child's least favorite subject in the process. My final discovery was that children who don't think that they're good at grammar and writing are going to be very reluctant to spend time doing it. And in the process, they're going to be setting themselves up for failure later on. I applied these discoveries to the curriculum I had been using and it was pretty clear why it wasn't working. So if you want to find a grammar curriculum that will work for your child. I have these tips for you. First, choose a curriculum that doesn't add even more abstraction to the teaching of parts of speech. If you and your child love diagramming, great, but it does add more abstract concepts to the learning process. You have to remember what each of the lines mean in addition to the parts of speech. Second, choose a curriculum that makes remembering grammar concepts and parts of speech fun. Games teach without the drill of flashcards or the repetitiveness of songs, and they can be added to any curriculum to reinforce the learning. Finally, choose a curriculum that focuses on the joy of expression in writing and less on correcting errors. Because grammar can be learned quickly when that abstract reasoning ability is there, elementary writing instruction should be a gentle introduction. Grammar Galaxy isn't for every student, but I created it for students who are reluctant to learn through diagramming worksheets and boring drills. Grammar Galaxy is fun because it's story-based. It's about what happens when the gremlin tampers with the English language. Students are guardians of the galaxy who complete missions to put things back in order. These missions include low to no prep games that teach. Students will learn not just grammar, but literary concepts, vocabulary, and spelling strategies. They'll also get a gentle introduction to writing that will build their confidence. Try it for free at funtolearnbooks.com slash samples. When you opt in, you'll also receive a calendar with short daily missions that teach language arts concepts. If this was helpful to you, be sure to subscribe to my channel for even more language arts teaching tips.